Hey guys. <laughs> All right. So today um, we'll quickly complete this uh, challenge. This is um, a part of the um, Dragon's uh, genome pen test uh, thing which we've been doing. And this seemed like the last challenge for the Meta Exploit, which is a Meta Breeder. I just thought we could to do a video on it. So let's see how fast we can get done with this. This other part of it is just the clicky stuff. Here is where we have a challenge. So just fall all the way to the base. So they give us the assuming compromise and we have credentials for SMB. Um, if you are wondering how this works, you can check up on our YouTube channel. We have some videos to showcase how we can grab credentials for SMB um, by exploiting maybe weaknesses in configuration or maybe vulnerabilities and system or shares the way it's been configured prior permissions and all the stuff it'd be cool to look at that and also please do like our videos and we also ask that you subscribe and turn on the notification button so you can get content from us even as we try to put out cool stuff out there okay so we have the machine up then we're going to be answering all those questions so we'll follow the first instruction we we'll use the PS exec uh, module in Meta in Metasploit. So I'm going to quickly start uh, MSF console here, uh, so we can search for the PS exec module and just start using it straight up. Can you just stress this a bit, uh, so I can build some space for myself as well. Okay, it's starting. I watch that it's starting in the background. Um, we'll also be recording videos for both privilege escalation, uh, the both of them. You see, I haven't done the challenge myself, so it's going to be us working through this together. So after the made us ploids, I think we'll just jump into this later on today. If I find time, <laughs> probably I don't want to be putting my work time into doing this. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to search for uh, PS exec just so I can show you that there are tongues of them uh, but we are using the exploit as specified here the one for exploit SMB PS exec so we can see there's the MS 017 if you don't know the MS um, 17 sorry uh, 017 010 or the MS 017 whole stuff uh, uh, probably that seem more like uh, an easy way in most times <laughs> when you've got Windows 7 box or even Windows 8. <laughs> so we, I think we have a video on that as well. So we can see the app that we use this one. If we look at the ranking, it's just normal, but we know it's Microsoft Authentication, uh, Authenticated User Code Execution, So which means we have credentials to be able to use this module. So I'm going to copy this module. Then I'm just going to use or paste that in there quickly and push the enter button. Uh, that should load up fine. Then we'll just options. So we can see that we need to probably supply some, uh, like the arrow port is 6445. Obviously, that should be listening. Then maybe the arrow host will set that up. Then the SMB pass, SMB user. Uh, we don't really need to specify the domain at this point. I think it's just going to work. So let's go set up a few stuff. The payload, we'll leave it as the Metapreda reverse TCP. Maybe the um, staged one there. Okay, so let's do um, sets quickly. Our hosts. Then we'll pass the IP address of our targets. I'm just going to quickly paste that here. Push the enter. Then also we're going to set SMB pass. Uh, the password there is password one. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Then we we'll also set the SMB user, and that uh, valid. Great. So let's just exploit this straight up. Um, that should work since those credentials are valid actually. Um, except there is a challenge somewhere within the network connection. Uh, we'll just wait for it. Uh, most times, this uh, uh, um, MS-17 exploits usually, I think, uh, uh, crashes. Uh, I think I was actually doing something on a job and it was kept, kept on crashing the server. <laughs> uh, well, good for me, it was a test environment or not really production environment. So 
that would have been oh well this is really bad anyways <laughs> service started at time okay problem coming not service execute so this exploit completed but no session was created okay i'm going to look at that again maybe i've missed is it small letter or capital letter that seemed like capital letter p and it seemed like we're working with what they had specified so um we're going to start that over again we're just going to see how that works but we we're working with what they had specified anyways so let's options and see um we've got the l hosts that's my l hosts uh let me verify okay so i see it was calling back to my oh no i have to change that okay <laughs> my bad so i should be calling back to the turn zero which is the vpn ip so i'm going to copy this quickly and set l host to that ip address so you should call back to this ip not to my own local box ip address so then i'm going to just run this again and this time around it should work fine probably there should be a route back to my um turn zero's ip and all that should look pretty cool um just give it a time okay so it's sending the stage oh that's quite um, a large <laughs> that's why sometimes i thought we did mention it crashes uh, stuff this looks pretty large okay we've got ourselves a meta product shell open and uh, this seems more like a very powerful shell because we can do a lot with this if i just put the help command there so there's a ton of stuff you can do you can even load in other modules like the PowerShell, like the mimic or the kiwi even the other uh, 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 advanced modules if you want to play around with this on your own let's do this in point c what we have the icon test so what is the computer name? I'll be tempted to think it's this. I'm just going to grab this. Although there's a post model we can use to, to verify that. So let me paste this here and see. Okay, that's the computer name. But I'm going to showcase a different way we can actually get that. Uh, um, I'll background this. Background this session. Then maybe I'll use posts. There's a post module called Windows uh gather then it's called enorm enorm domains okay so i'll set if i show options we can see that it requires the session so i think i have session one i'll set session to one then i'll run this let's see so we found the domain it validates what uh submitted earlier that's the domain we also oh so we found the domain is flash cool so let's just copy this as well target domain let's pass that in here quickly let's flash what is the name of the shares likely created by the user okay we can we can check this uh, uh in different way i think there's this there's a post module also for you know shares so i'm just going to go all the way back and norm shares yeah great so options do I still have, I need to set the session sets, session one, and I'm going to run this quickly. Okay, we can see the sysvault, uh, that, okay, there's net log and this is more like default, and we've got this speed step. Okay, I'm going to copy this and go submit that as the answer, just to verify, because there were only three shares, but this seemed like the one created newly, okay? So we got that done with next challenge what is the ntlm hash okay so let's go back into our session to be able to dump hash sessions uh i i think it's like i one oh no sorry <laughs> okay i one okay so we got that made up session if i try to do hash dump here we might get an error maybe if i try to get a system that might not work as well. So what we'll need to do is we might need to, might, oh, we got system. So let's hash them. That was pretty cool. Still didn't work. Okay, so we need to, we might need to migrate our process to something pretty much stable to be able to carry such an activity. So I'll look for maybe the LTAS, the security authority stuff. So that's uh, 760. 
I'll just pass the command migrate 760. That should move me to that process. If it all works fine, then I can actually dump the hash pretty easy. So let's see. Or uh, if that looks maybe difficult, you might load in Kiwi. Oh, uh, that works pretty fine. So if I pass the command hash dump now, uh, we shouldn't have, shouldn't have any restriction. So we're grabbing all the hashes. Uh, the question is, what is the NTLM hash of J Chambers? So let's look for that user, J Chambers. So this is Windows, obviously. So we know this first here will be the same for all because that's NT. Then we'll grab the LM hash, which is this. We'll just copy that. Then we'll pass that value in here and submit that quickly. Then what is the clear text password? Okay, my de facto, I'll fall to crack station to help me quickly do the magic. So I'll just load crack station. Uh, I don't want to stress my head going to do some John or some more hash that stuff. Um, when there's this online <laughs> cracker, which has got uh, some good passwords in there. So let's, uh, is it still loading? It's still loading. So I might need to validate robots. Uh, okay, great. I'm just going to click that button. Um, then I'll crack the sash. If it's actually weak, I should find it pretty easy to crack. And that was pretty easy to crack. So we'll grab the password, trust no, <laughs> trust no one. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> cool. Okay. So let's go back and pass that to the submission. The password. Paste this in here. So what is the true secret? Okay. To do this, we can actually start using some modules within Metapreda. Like the maybe we're searching for something. We can search for something. And I think that's actually just search. You can pass command search that F. I think that should work. So I'm going to pass that name secrets.txt. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, that works. I charm. Okay, great. So we grab that thing in the five parts program files. Let's drop into a shell. Then let's see the. We'll paste that part there. Okay, then we'll DIR. So we've got that. Let's type the content of uh, secrets.txt. Let's see what's in there. Okay, my Twitter password is <laughs> that gibberish. I just copy that, anyways. Um, we'll go past the password. Okay, they want the path as well. So we might need to copy the path. I think I have it here. Oh, no, I don't. I actually I have to copy it from up there. Is this? Do they want the full path, including where the, the file name? I'm going to try that first. Paste. Oh, no. Paste this. If that worked, that didn't work. So I'm going to remove the secret the text and pass this as the answer. And that should work fine. Cool. What is the real secrets? So that's another one we have to go search for. I'm just going to use the search again, copy in the name, uh, pretty make it easy for me. I'll exit this. I could also do that within the Windows uh, stuff, but I just think it's pretty easier for me to do uh, in Metapreda. Paste this here. Oh no. I thought I copied the path. Oh yeah, that's the name. Sorry search for that okay i'm just trying to beat time because i have to go to work so i'm trying to do this video for the class so i could go uh, get myself ready for work <laughs> okay that's the last question anyways and um, they're asking what is the file location so we're going to copy this quickly it's in the web servers directory paste this here then what is the file in that so i'm going to Shell and repeat the same thing now. Like I did mention, we can do this from the meta printer, nothing stops us from downloading that file and release in our box. But I'm just trying to make things very easy for myself here. I'll go here, then I'll DI arrow, see the content there, then I'll type, or maybe just to showcase a few other ways of doing stuff. Probably don't mind me, I'll paste this here, then type the content out. 
<laughs> the Flash is the fastest man alive. No way. I am the fastest man. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Don't mind. Okay, so whoops, we're done with this quickly. Let's grab ourselves some tickets. What, what are they giving us this time around? Oh, we got all the stops already. We don't need this. We need something new. <laughs> okay, so thanks, guys, for sticking around. And um, I will upload this, and we'll probably see the walkthrough for the both Linux, Linux privilege escalation rooms. See you around. Have a nice day. Bye.